Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Okay, 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 okay. Holy F. Hi guys. Welcome. This is the lady sign. I can't even do my intro. Okay. Planet Zoo 1.4 update. There has just arrived some new news about the free 1.4 update. Hello zookeepers, we're proud to reveal more of what we've been working on for the free update 1.4 coming to Planet Zoo on the 8th of December, next week Tuesday. This free update includes marvelous new additions as well as some community requested features. Thank you for sharing your suggestions with us. Read on to learn more about the forthcoming update, what you can expect and how it will affect your gameplay. Just in case you haven't noticed yet, I only saw this Twitter post. I barely even read it. I only read an underwater feeder and I was like, oh my God, okay, I need to start <laughs> recording right away. So I haven't read anything else except for seeing this picture like, oh my freaking God, okay. Water temperature regulator. With update 1.4, we'll be adding a new water temperature regulator facility that will allow you to customize the temperature of all water volumes within its range. This will help you have full control over the welfare of animals that like to spend a lot of time in the water, which will enable you to ensure your animals have maximum comfort in your care. Using the water temperature regulator information panel, the facility can be customized to suit the layout and requirements in your zoo, as you'll be able to adjust the regulator's effectiveness range, adjust the target temperature all water volumes in range should be regulated to, there will also be a new heat map mode added to the water overview for the water temperature regulator, which will show you the current range of each water temperature regulator in your zoo, the temperature each water temperature regulator is set to, the temperature of each volume of water in your zoo, and an underwater feeder. The underwater box feeder, a new feeding station, will be available as part of the free update. For now, the only animal that will use this in the game is the saltwater crocodile, but we will be adding this to more animals in the future. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> clickety clickety. <laughs> uh, when using this feeder, like any other food enrichment, its information panel will provide you with details on its food capacity, usage by animals, and food suitability. Additionally, there will be a status bar that will tell you if the feeder has been placed deep enough. Obviously, guys, we all know that free update comes along with a new DLC. So, okay, they say for now only a saltwater crocodile will be added for the underwater feeder, but that only makes it more clear that there is going to be an aquatic pack, a marine pack. I have no idea how it's going to be called. I am just super excited. And honestly, knowing Frontier, this is the 8th of December, then tomorrow we should be hearing more about a new pack for Planet Zoo. So I'm just super excited for this. Okay, let's continue. Zoo management transport rides. Update 1.4 will include a new management screen that will summarize all of the transport rides in the zoo. This screen will enable you to make faster and more accurate decisions about your transport rides to better manage your zoo. The new overview tab will inform you on the number of different rides, the most popular ride in your zoo, the most popular station in your zoo, the total annual profit for all rides, the total numbers of guests that have used the rides in the current year, the lifetime profit from the rides. That's really nice. That's really nice. Okay, the stats tab will break down each individual ride into more detailed information for you by showing you annual profit, annual guests, total track length, what station guests are using, each station scenery rating, the management tab will allow you to add it, the number of trains only while the ride is closed, the number of cars per train only while the ride is closed, maximum speed, ticket price per station, the status of the ride overall and per station. Those are really great, uh, great additions, by the way. I really do like that. Okay, challenge scenario. We're excited to travel to the Philippines with you for a new time scenario set in the mountains of Luzon. Take on an adventure and transform desist rice terrace while pushing conservational awareness. Make sure you have it ready in time for the grand opening ceremonies. The Philippines. But the, it was the same with the last pack. There was like this scenario that was i think it was estonia or something and it didn't match at all with the pack so it doesn't really say anything about the pack but it's really really cool okay so animal talks uh, we already spoke about that in the last video but if you have missed it 
We can't wait to bring you Animal Talks, something that we recently shared more about. A staple activity in zoos that help educate guests about the zoo and their conservation efforts in Planet Zoo. Animal Talks will be run by educators, a new staff type that will help educate our guests about animals around your zoo. For Animal Talks to happen, you're required to place an Animal Talk point in the area you've set up for the talk to take place. We recommend carving out a section for each Animal Talk so that your guests don't block the path for your staff and any guests traveling around the zoo. Animal Talk points can only select a species for the talk from nearby habitats and exhibits. Once you've got it all ready to go, an educator will get ready to go to the Animal Talk and both guests and sometimes animals will gather around to see what all the excitement is about. These Animal Talks come with an informational panel. Each talk can be set up for one habitat or exhibit and one species of animal. Though this panel, you will be able to enable and disable Animal Talk points, pick an animal species for the talk, Pick a month to schedule the talk, it will take place annually. Assign an educator to the animal talk point. Assign the animal talk to a work zone. Select music, which will play while the talk is not in use. See if your placement of the animal talk point will allow your educators to throw food in. There is also a new management tab for animal talks in this tab. You can see a list of animal talks, the location of the animal talk points, a habitat or exhibit talk point type, assigned habitat, Assign animal species, a talk can only be for one species, month the talk is scheduled, and work zone assigned yes or no. Added creativity! We can't wait to see what you do with the new free scenery assets update 1.4 will bring you a set of decal decorations, two new guest paths, one new queue path, and two variants to pre-existing queue paths, a new font for your 3D letters, 2D letters, and a range of foliage. We, have, we love seeing what you create and we're looking forward to seeing how you incorporate it, these into your zoo. That is really interesting. A new font in 3D and 2D letters. Of course, a new range of foliage and also new path. Oh, that is really nice. Okay, I'm looking forward to see more about that. Quality of life. Thanks to your suggestions and feedback, we've added a new feature, multi-select for franchise mode animal storage. Oh my god, I've been waiting for that for so long. Uh, something that has been requested for a long time now. We're proud to bring you the multi-select to franchise mode animal storage. This will make it easier for you to manage your animals, especially for when breeding gets out of hand quickly. Honestly, <laughs> to be honest, don't even mention it. Just fix it because it was just an annoying bug. At least for me, it felt like a bug. <laughs> like, it doesn't even feel like it should be mentioned here. Just fix it. Just update it. But okay, I'm just happy that it's going to happen. Uh, update 1.4 will arrive with gameplay tweaks and bug fixes that we've, we've worked on with your feedback and suggestions in mind. You get the full list of the update notes when update 1.4 goes live on the 8th of December. Thanks Planet Zoo fam for all your brilliant support and feedback as we continue to work on Planet Zoo. We're looking forward to sharing more about what, what we've been working on very soon. Stay tuned. Okay, as said, it's now the 30th of November, which means that tomorrow is a week before launch and Planet Zoo or Frontier in general always has a schedule of bringing information a week before something launches. So tomorrow, I think it's fair enough to say we are going to hear finally what kind of DLC we are going to get. And to be completely honest, I mean, look at this picture. We are getting an underwater feeder. This is going to mean that <laughs> we're definitely going to see more in a DLC which is going to be for marine animals or I don't know aquatic animals at least an animal that eats fish we have seen the leaks um, so if you don't want to hear about the leaks but the leaks say that it could potentially be a gray seal and a king penguin so this definitely fits those type of animals so I'm just very curious what that is going to be I also see something here and I'm not entirely sure. I think that is also new. And oh my god, I'm actually really curious to see what that is. It's so hard, you can't really tell. Um, but this definitely looks like some kind of feeder that we've also seen in Jurassic World Evolution with like, also like a fish feeder or something like that. I'm not really sure if that is the case, but it definitely looks new to me. 
And I also have the feeling that we have some more, uh, th these are more aquatic plants. These are not the typical grass patches we've seen. Oh my God, please let it be something aquatic. That is going to be super amazing. Really amazing. I am a little bit disappointed that it's only uh, edited for one animal that is in the base game right now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, as I said, they will be adding it very soon. So we have to wait and see until there is more to come. Anyways, do let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you guys think of this new information about the free update 1.4. Stay tuned tomorrow. I have the feeling tomorrow is going to be a DLC announcement. So yeah, if so, I will be back with you guys again on the channel, of course. I'm uh, very excited to hear more about that. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you want to stay up to date and want to see more Planet Zoo content. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.